It looks like we have a baseball problem. We have a baseball player that has a batting average of 225. Not too good, right? Um, they want to know what's the probability that he's going to get exactly two hits in his next seven at bats. Hmm. So, first of all, we got to figure out what kind of distribution this is. I think it's a binomial probability distribution because there's only one, you only have two possible outcomes hit or no hit. His batting average is going to remain constant through every at-bat, roughly. We're going to assume that he's been up at bat a lot, so it's not going to change much from bat to bat. Um, so I think we have a binomial probability distribution. So let's try to figure out how if we can do this in Excel, because using the formula is horrible, right? Um, so I'm going to go over to Excel, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an X column, which is going to represent the number of hits the player gets. So he can get zero hits, one hits, two hits, three hits. Let's see, how do you fill in keep going on Excel? I'm just going to keep going. Zero through seven. Okay. But now we want to figure out what's the probability of getting zero hits. What's the probability of getting one hit? They actually want to know what's the probability of getting two hits. So we got to figure that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the cell that's right next to the zero. I'm going to go up to my formula bar, FX, and I'm going to search for binome. And it, sh it should pop up. You're, you'll see binome.dist. I'm going to use the .dist one. And I'm going to say insert function. So now, what do we got to fill in? We got to fill in, hmm, a few fields. The first field says number underscore s. That's like number of hits. So in this particular row that I'm in, that's the zero. But I'm not going to type the zero. I'm going to click on the zero. So it should say cell A2 in my case. Okay. Then I'm going to go down to the next cell, and it says trials. How many at-bats are we looking at? Seven. That's your N. Right? Probability of success. What was his probability of success? A not too great average of 225. And then in this cumulative field, you always want to put a zero when we're doing this. And I'm going to say done. So it just figured out the probability of getting zero hits. And how do we fill in the rest? We just move our cursor to the bottom right hand corner of that, turn it into a black crosshair, left mouse click, and drag down. Okay, so now the question that they asked was two hits that's right here point two nine seven two I think it says round it to four decimal points let's see what they have for an answer hopefully it's the same point two nine seven two so that's how you would do that if they asked you what's the probability he gets um, four hits for instance it would be 0.0417 see the more hits the less and less probability because the guy's not batting too good i mean the highest probability is one hit out of seven which is 0.341 so that's how you would do a binomial probability distribution question in excel so i hope that helps with your baseball question